Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Elise of Plan With Elise and welcome to a budget video. It's been a little while since we've done one. Well, maybe a week. So today I am going to be revamping my cash envelope system a little bit. So a little bit of background or housekeeping if you are new. I use cash envelopes for things that either I tend to over... Oh, here's what I don't use cash envelopes for. My bills and... Um, my retirement and my big savings, like my emergency savings. Other than that, I use cash envelopes for areas either where I tend to overspend sinking funds, some sinking funds that I'm saving for. So I have two binders here. One typically is what I use the most regularly that houses like gas, groceries, spending, etc. And then I have another one that houses um, sinking funds, but we are going to be switching these up a little bit. So these binders I got on Amazon. I also have one in black. They are amazing. And I love that they have a pen loop and the card holders here and a magnetic closure and then another pocket back here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these out for a second. And then we are also going to take out the green ones. So let me go through these because I haven't Okay, so bat mitzvah savings, the bat mitzvah that I was saving for has happened, money is gone. Um, my brother's birthday savings. So this was $50, this was, is this a real 50? I thought this was fake 50, that was representative. Nope, this is a real 50, so that's a win. Um, vacation savings, this was representative of money that was in my bank account, but I'm gonna put that aside. Mother's Day savings, this is definitely fake money. It says movie prop use only, but... I'm going to put this aside. We're going to replace it. Car maintenance, same thing. Movie money. Dental is movie money. Christmas and my emergency fund is real money. So I'm going to put that over here. All right. Now, like where do I get started? So let's first start with what I bought. I bought some new envelopes. These envelopes I found... Um, actually, because of Instagram, I, I came across an account, Plan Budget Dream on Instagram, and I came across her because of her reels where she does cash stuffing reels, and she makes these envelopes. So there's two things I like about them. Number one, they are top loading, and I just think that they're a really clean look. They are the same material as these, but they don't have the zipper closure. And she also customizes them. So I really like that they're customized. I bought the pack of 12 maybe, and you can customize them with whatever you want. I ordered them less than a week ago and they've already arrived. So the categories I got were groceries, fun, ant life, spending, manicures, hair, savings challenges, gas, miscellaneous, eating out, car maintenance, and health and beauty. So I'm excited to put these into my binder. So let's, let's do a, a couple of specific ones at first. Let me, all right, gas, hair, manicures, spending, ant life, fun, and groceries. All right, I think those will be the main ones that are going to go into this binder. Oh, and then I need to pop these little things out. I probably should have done that before we got on here. But let me, while I'm doing this, let's talk about why I like using cash for these. Because I've had a lot of a lot of comments, um, both on Instagram and on YouTube, about the problems with using cash. Now, first of all, I don't carry these binders everywhere I go. If I am going to the grocery store and I know I'm not going anywhere else, that's the that's the envelope I'm going to bring. I just pop one of these into my wallet or into my purse and that's the envelope I bring. I'm not bringing all of this money. If I am going to the mall. So the other day I went to the mall to buy a birthday gift for my brother and I brought three envelopes with me. I brought my brother's birthday envelope. I brought my spending envelope in case there was anything I wanted to buy for myself and I bought my food envelope because I hadn't eaten all day and I wanted something to eat I ended up getting a pretzel so that's what I brought with me and then I wasn't fearful 
of having, quote, so much cash because I wasn't bringing this entire binder and having people see me going through with the binder. So that's just something I want to add for those of you who have expressed your concern about um, my, my safety when it comes to that. Okay. And then, of course, when these are in my apartment, they are stored in a safe, secure place. So I am going to throw this 50 into gas because, as we know, gas prices are high. So I really like how the envelope sits in there. You could also use one of my trackers to keep track of the spending with gas. I don't necessarily need to, but you could put it right back in here or you could put it in the front. These are trackers that are available in my Etsy shop. I'm going to take this one out for now. Okay, so gas is in. Then hair. I don't have any money in my hair fund right now. I don't believe. No, so I'm going to, that's going to remain empty, but what I will do is put an empty tracker in here for when I do have money set aside. I got my hair done in February, so I haven't jumped back into that sinking fund just yet. Manicure, I do have money in, plus I'm adding to it with this week's paycheck. So I am adding $50 into my manicure fund. That should cover me for the entire month of April and maybe even then some. So 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77. So I'm adding 50. What's today? 330, 22 plus you're adding 50. And now I am at was that 77, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 77. And I'm going to switch these dollars around for those of you who prefer that all of my dollars stays the same way. 77, okay. Got these in here. All right, spending. I don't know if I have anything left in my spending envelope. Oh, I do have money left in my spending envelope from last week. I have a whole dollar, look at that. And then this week I am adding 50 into my spending, 20, 40, 50. So now we will be at 51. And this spending, uh, let's see what it might be used for. I know that I just got a health and beauty envelope, but traditionally it might be if I need to go to CVS or um, I don't know, just like that regular weekly spending that I, that I have. Okay, Ant Life. Basically anything that I didn't set aside money for that I plan, like that I plan on using that week. I have $48 in my Ant Life envelope that is staying. And Ant Life is for when, like last week, my niece slept over. And um, that, you know, was dinner for us. So, Ant Life. Okay, fun. I don't have any money set aside in my fun budget right now. Um, groceries. This envelope is empty, but it looks like I just did not update my tracker. So, I'm adding 50 into my groceries this week. But first we are going to fix this. So I went grocery shopping on the 28th and it was six, I guess 65 minus 65 and we are adding 50 today. Okay. And then we'll get that into this envelope and take a sip of coffee. That's necessary. This is an early morning. Okay, so we've got gas, hair, spending, manicure, ant life, fun, and groceries. 
let me see if there's anything. Okay, gas was already taken care of, so that envelope can go away. Hair, I decided to do a hair envelope, so I don't need that previous tracker. And, okay, we might be set with this. You know what I am going to add? I'm going to add my $5 and $1 into here because when I get have an extra five or a one, I will put them into these envelopes. I don't do it all the time. As you saw, what was it? My spending envelope had a dollar, so they don't always get used, but um, got all these little, little things down here. But that's what we will do for now. I also have $15 that I'm not sure I accounted for somewhere. So I have a plan for that. Okay, let's close up this envelope and go to the green one. So the green one is typically where I would have other kinds of sinking funds. So I have, eat. well, health and beauty should really go in the other envelope, in the other binder. And probably eating out too. So car maintenance, miscellaneous, and savings challenges. I guess miscellaneous should go on the other one too. I don't know what I... This is just going to be my savings challenge envelope and sinking funds. It's sometimes you don't know exactly what's going to work or make the most sense until you sit down and do it, which is what happened here today. All right, that's gonna go there. So my 52 week savings challenge, even though this is, we are going to put that into, actually, yeah, this these are gonna go into this envelope. So this is a tracker that's available on my Etsy shop and it tells you in increments of between five and $20, how much to save each week. Um, and at the end of the year, you'll have $650 saved right now we are at the end of March and I am at $155. So it's really great to see all of that money just adding up just because I'm putting it aside each week. I really like that. And then car maintenance, I am going to switch it up. So car maintenance, previously I've used a tracker like this and that is just fake money. I haven't taken it out but I did use all the money in my car maintenance tracker. However, this isn't necessarily the ideal tracker for me right now because car maintenance is something that fluctuates. So even if I had that $300 saved, I spent some of it. Well, actually I spent most of it because I needed new tires. So I printed out some trackers from my Etsy shop because I'm going to, um, this will be a add and subtract from, hopefully, not regularly, but if it does, it just makes sense. So I'm going to take that $15, and I also know that I have money set aside in April in my budget to contribute to this as well and replenish it. So right now I only have $15 in my car maintenance fund, but of course that will be added to come my next paycheck on Monday. And if something were to happen between now and Monday, I would borrow from my savings and pay it back once I get paid on Monday. All right, now I have my other savings challenges that I do with my patrons. We have savings challenges each month and that is going to stay in here. I do need to consolidate these bills because this is getting a little bit thick. So that is going to stay in here. Um, vacation savings, we are going to also put back in here. Emergency fund is also going to go in there. And then Mother's Day is staying. Car we moved. Christmas and dental are also going to stay. I feel like this video might be confusing. I hope it's not, but 
I don't know, I was going to sit down to do it. And lately I've done most of my cash stuffing in reels, but I've had some requests to bring them back to YouTube. It's probably going to be a combination of the two. Um, reels are a little bit easier because I can sometimes just sit down and do it quickly without it being a whole filming production. The other thing, to be honest with you, while I appreciate those who do watch the budgeting videos, they don't get a lot of views. They used to be my top videos um, and they are probably now my least watched videos. So, you know, it's hard sometimes to stay motivated to create specific content when it's not really performing in the way that I hope. Now, I, I want to say that with a caveat. For those of you who do watch the videos, I am so very appreciative and I don't want to take anything away from my channel, which is still why I do my monthly budget setup and things like that. Maybe I'll do more check-in ones. Let me know if you have any budget request videos because maybe that is something that we can start to, to tackle our specific topics. But I also do want to mention that over on my Patreon in the budgeting tier, we do a lot of budget topics and we have uh, monthly budget Zooms where we talk about our budgets and any problems we're having, questions, things like that. So that is a wrap. As a reminder, these binders are available on Amazon linked below. The envelopes are from Plan Budget Dream on Etsy. I will also link her shop below and the trackers are from my Etsy shop. So those three locations are where you can get um, all of these. I also have my budgeting favorites linked in the description of this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do take a moment to like this video and subscribe and I will see you next time.